one or two really good backlinks from high authority, highly relevant site is worth more than a thousand spammy penny backlinks in, in terms of your authority and the quality and how it just Google regards your site. So using Wikilink Jacker, we are working with the system at Wikipedia, not against it. So because we're doing things the right way, our links will actually stick. So let's dive in. Now first we want to find an opening for our content. In other words, a place where Wikipedia needs something to back up their article content. And they'll be much more willing to accept our link if we put it someplace where they have indicated they need something. And so we're going to do them a favor. Now the easiest place for this is to find links that were there in their references, but the website or page is now gone. And so their references are left hanging out unsupported by any material to quote. So let's just find some candidates where we could grab a link using the wiki page search tab. Now say my niche is health and fitness and I have a site dedicated to that with some nice content already there. So let's type in my keyword as fitness and see what comes up. And now you see that almost instantly it brought back 25 potential pages where we could grab a backlink because there is a link that's dead there and uh, Wikipedia wants it replaced. So uh, let's just look through uh, some of these articles and see what we've got here. So we have a bunch of articles on uh, people who are in the fitness niche, uh, fitness uh, methods, CrossFit, and some other things. But what I'm liking here is this broad general topic of physical exercise. And you can see that in what it brings back, it tells you not only the page rank of the page, but it also tells you how many potentially dead links you have to choose from. And if you hover, as you can see, it actually tells you what they are. So you get kind of a preview. Now, if I want to look more closely at this page, and maybe I'm thinking I might like to get a link from this particular page, just click on there and it opens up the Wikipedia page and if you scroll down it's actually highlighted for us where the dead links are and if I want to check out any of these dead links and see if there is content that I can use as a template now I'm calling this expired content this material comes from the archive you know that there is a bot out there that goes out and tries to archive uh, pages so if I want to check out and see if one of these articles would do as some as a template for my own content, what I do is I go here and I check the archive. Now sometimes it will take you right to the content. It depends on whether the person, uh, whether there's a retrieve date in Wikipedia. Uh, if there's not a retrieve date, it just takes you to the archive and lets you choose your own. So let's go. Um, so let's just look for something in 2008 and we can see that there is one snapshot from 2008 and so yes we do have a copy of the article that was the original focus of the link for this one and you, know, you want to kind of just look at the article and see if you could turn it into something that would fit on your site and then you will want to either spin it or uh, rewrite it a little bit but it's not really too hard once you have a basic template that's got all the information in it and so you can just really quickly turn this into a nice article of your own so let's just grab the content and let's just do it down here right click and copy and now let's grab a post editor and so I'm just gonna paste the article in here now if you want to you can also remove as much of the formatting as you like remove any stray links and since I'm gonna re rewrite this article so that it will then be mine I'm going to take the author's name out and if I want to I can use the spinner to do the rewriting here's the spinner button or um, I can just go through and, and reorder paragraphs and make things from my point of view make a little bit of commentary uh, so it doesn't really need to take very long because like I said you've got a really good article in here already so I'm just going to give it a title exercise the wonder drug and I'm going to give it a post date and maybe some relevant tags 
Then I'm going to choose the account that I want this on. And I don't really have a, a, <laughs> a demo account that's really dedicated to fitness, so I'm just going to choose one. So just kind of ignore the fact that, uh, that I have categories that are not really appropriate in here. So then once I've, once I've got the article the way I want it, then I just click Post. And you can see that it posted the article and it tells me down here that my post was successful. So now that post is actually on my site. It only took me a couple of minutes to find a page, grab the content, do a small amount of uniqueifying on the content, post it right straight to my blog. And now in the post history, I have got this new post. Now the last step is to go to the Wikipedia page using the Wiki Editor browser which is embedded right in the application. You don't even have to switch to your browser and you just want to update the dead link to the expired article to point to your brand new shiny high quality article. Now since I didn't post this article to a real site just to a demo site and it doesn't really meet the quality guidelines I'm not going to update the link here but that's just how easy it is. We grabbed a backlink in literally minutes plus we got high quality unique content for our site and since we targeted a link Wikipedia already wanted replaced that link is highly likely to stay on the page and it is so easy using Wikileaks Jacker. Now there are a lot more features in here which I think you're going to love but as the video is already nearly 10 minutes I'm going to drop it off there. So that's it for this demo video. This has been Lisa Allen and thanks for checking out Wikilink Jacker.